somewhere, y'all. I don't even know where she went. It gets in food. It's mostly on her feet. So I'm going to do her feet first. And then I'm going to shave her, a little turkey. I think she either went, we got a pasture behind here that's full of horses. Either she ran down and got in that pasture with the horses and rubbed all in their poo to give them her scent, probably. You go to Walmart, I mean, if you go to McDonald's and you buy a value meal and you spend $7, I could get 14 wash rags for $7 from Amazon. So if I use my wash rags to do something nasty, like clean something out on the porch, like the tables, you know how nasty they get, or wash my dog's mouth out because she got in poop, her ear, Y'all, I can't stand. Y'all, I got the best nose on the face of the earth. We're live, y'all. Marcy's in biggest trouble ever this morning. She, I decided that I would be a nice mama and let them go outside for a minute and play around, which I shouldn't have done. So she goes, Somewhere, y'all. I don't even know where she went. It gets in food. It's mostly on her feet. So I'm going to do her feet first. And then I'm going to shave her a little turkey. So I had to take everything out of my kitchen. You're probably thinking, why don't you do this in the bathroom? Because of my back. And Chris is not home. He had to go get the truck serviced. And she's so dirty, y'all, I can't even put her in her crate. Because if I put her in her crate, um, she would get poo in the crate. And I just washed my crates Friday. So she's in trouble. Well, I thought I'd show y'all that she's in trouble. Get your butt down in there. And I moved everything. I moved my hearts. I've got towels everywhere so that it doesn't get splattered. And uh, like I said, it's mostly on her feet. And I think she ate some. Why do dogs have to be so goofy? So, she's going to get a bath. I'm using my little uh, sink thing, and then i got to get out the bleach, y'all. What do y'all think this morning? Is she bad or what? That's the poodle in her, I think. Or maybe it's just the dog in her. I don't know. Now, Marcy, we got to get your head under here, baby. Y'all going to see how rough and tumble I am with my dogs. Get her ears. Now, when I get her out of this sink, y'all, I'm going to dry her. And after I dry her, I'll show y'all how I use my, um, my uh, shavers and I trim her up. I bought a really good set. But she's going to get shaved today because I am not going to smell poo on her at all. You know what drives me crazy, y'all? It's on a rainy day. We had rain this morning. I have had a bath. I don't know why. Now. But at least it's just mostly on her legs. She's not as bad as I thought she was going to be, actually. Thank God. Thank the good Lord. Now. Um, I got May's Lemon, Meyer Lemon. We got this at, um, I've got some good doggy shampoo too, but we got this Meyer Lemon at, um, she got it for Christmas for my sister. My sister's watching me this morning. Y'all, I can't see who's watching because I'm busy getting her clean. But one way I like to wash them, I'm going to show y'all this, is to take, I've got an old scrub brush thing, May. Go ahead and call your daddy so we don't call me so I can take off his headset because I know I'm yelling. Sorry, y'all. I had my headset in. When it's in my ears, it makes me yell because I can't hear good already. My kids, I drive them crazy because I can't hear good. But look, this is one of them real rough ones. And if you ever have to wash a dog and you can't get the stink off of them, uh, don't get one of them real soft, thick ones. Get a thinner one that's real scratchy from the dollar store, the real cheap ones, because they're a lot rougher. And if you scrub them down with this, I'm telling you, it works. Poor baby. 
See what y'all get to see on Color Valley Chit Chat? Anything. Anything goes on Color Valley Chit Chat. This is my acrobat anyway, y'all. She can stand on her hind legs for the longest. She should have been a circus dog. She is a malt. No, she is a peekapoo. Here goes the face and the front feet. She's a peekapoo. She's the only one I wash in the sink, really and truly. If if she hadn't have been in poo, I would wait on Chris and let him put her in the bathtub. But y'all, I'm already hurting today with my feet and stuff with this rain, and I'm not about to, to be in the open bathtub to clean her. And sometimes you can get in the bathtub with them, clean them. Y'all might think that's gross, but there ain't no way I could do that when she's got poop all over her. I think she either went, we got a pasture behind here that's full of horses. Either she ran down and got in that pasture with the horses and rubbed all in their poo to give them her scent, probably. That's probably what she did. I got the back door open. Um, so she's getting a good bath. Then after I scrub her, then I'm going to trim her for y'all. I got several things planned for y'all today on Card Valley Cooks. I can tell y'all while I'm washing my dog. Um, get my chores done this weekend. Um, Chris is going to buy me a new pair of shoes because my feet are killing me. I wear Academy. I go to Academy and I get Brooks Ghost Tens. And y'all, I have to get new shoes about every six months and they're $150 a pair. But I'm telling you, if I don't, I can't hardly go. That's the only pair of shoes I can wear, and I still have to wear my inserts. And, inserts. and I need to show y'all the name of my inserts because they work so well. I've had two pairs of doctor inserts, and they didn't work good. So y'all need to see the name of these because you can buy them over online. I know. Get up under there, silly goose. So anyway, Marcy, honey, you got, she's the tallest dog. She's got real long legs. When we picked her out, y'all, I bought her from a lady that had a bunch of puppies. And Marcy was not a puppy puppy then. Um, and she wasn't very pretty at all. She was real skittish and uh, real tall and lanky, you know. She's a pick -a poo But she got the long legs, I guess, from the poodle. And then uh, she's just like a poodle, pretty much just like a poodle. She looks like a poodle. She acts like a poodle. She don't have any, she doesn't look like a Pekingese to me at all. No, she, the only Pekingese part about her is her tail curls up in the back. Um, I know it. Are you caught then? Okay, I got her in 2012. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this year she'll be six, y'all. Six years old. Anyway, I can't even remember what I was talking about. My shoes. He's going to get me a pair of shoes. He went to get the truck service, and he has to have the emissions checked because his birthday's this week coming up, y'all. His birthday's the 8th, and I got to get his tag for the truck when I can't get it unless he's got his emissions checked. We live in a county that has a lot of people in it, so we have to get our emissions checked before we can uh, drive a car. So if you got an old car, uh, sometimes it can be really hard here because we've got a, two, a 1999 Lincoln Town car, 2008 car, and we've got a 96, I think, van. we got some old cars. The van is kind of hard to get the emissions checked for. All right. Girl, whoo, I'm going to smell you. Ew. May, do you have an old toothbrush I can brush your teeth with? No? I told you mine disappeared mysteriously. Hand me one of them old wash rags down there. I'll just throw it away. The one that's already got strings on it. No, the other one. Y'all, I buy my wash rags at Amazon. I've told you about these before, and I bleach them. And this one's uh, getting raggledy. Actually, I don't think this one is an Amazon. Well, let me look and see. It's probably not, or it wouldn't be. Yeah, it is, too. It's an Amazon basic. But I've had it for a long time. And I get them, and they're about 50 cents a piece. And y'all might think I'm wasteful sometimes because I throw stuff away, but this is the way I look at it. If you go to Walmart, I mean, if you go to McDonald's and you buy a value meal and you spend $7, I could get 14 wash rags for $7 from Amazon. 
So if I use my wash rags to do something nasty, like clean something out on the porch, like the tables, you know how nasty they get, or wash my dog's mouth out because she got in poop, or anything like that, and I buy them for Mama to help clean her up too, I throw them away. And you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just bleach them? I can, but I just can't stand the thoughts of some things coming back and me washing my face with it. <laughs> and y'all probably think, well, my God, you got that dog in your kitchen sink. Yeah, and I can bleach it too. And she's little. The other two wouldn't fit down in here good. They're little, but they're not as little as her. All right, I'm going to smell you. I can still smell it on her ear. Y'all, I can't stand. Y'all, I got the best nose on the face of the earth. I worked in the nursery at church for five years, every Sunday night with two-year-olds. We had so many two-year-olds. Her, her, her ear still got some on it. Um, so whenever I kept the kids in the nursery, as soon as a parent handed them to me, I could tell you if they had a dirty diaper or not. And if one poop, when they were in my room, I guarantee you, they were changed within a matter of minutes. And if I go in where Mama lives and one of them old people have pooped their pants, I don't know how people can't smell it. I think they ignore it sometimes, especially with old people. I tell them, I say, look, somebody's over there and they got dirty breeches. Y'all need to change them. So I was a good nursery worker because I, what I think the reason I was a good nursery worker is because when you have babies, when you're young and you have your babies, well, you get used to knowing what a dirty diaper smells like. And because I worked the nursery from the time my babies were infants, baby babies, until the time I quit. Here, I'm going to throw this away. Um, I could... I could... Um, Still smell the poopy diapers. Sometimes me and Lisa Caden had, y'all, we, all we did was two-year-olds on Sunday night. And I'm smelling her feet because they were. it was on her feet. I'm going to cut all this hair off of her tail and stuff anyway, but she don't smell anymore. I'm telling you, nothing cuts fish and poop and all those nasty smells like lemon does. And that's what I washed her in. Now, this is, um, this is premium dog uh, shampoo that I got over at Ross or somewhere like that. You know, you can get high-end stuff a lot cheaper than going to the vet and buying it for 2000 prices. If you'll just go in Ross or Marshalls or whatever you got, Bells or whatever discount store you got around you, this smells so good. So I'm going to rub her down with this and then I'm going to rinse her. And then once I rinse her, then I'm going to let her dry and then we'll shave her in a little while. But while I'm talking to y'all, I know I just talk and talk. Most people can't stand it. Some people can't stand it. But some of y'all are my friends now. And y'all don't mind listening to me ramble on. So, oh, this smells so good. If y'all want something that smells good for your animals, go over there and get you something. Now, I know a lot of us are old and it's hard to wash our animals. Um, Chris usually does it for me in the bathtub. And when I had one, I took it to the groomer once a month, no matter what. When I got two, I did the same thing. But once I got three, I just couldn't afford it anymore. I just couldn't. So now, I know how to do everything for my animals. I know how to trim their nails, clean their ears. And with these smaller dogs, I know it's nasty and it's gross. But I know how to do their anal glands and get them clean. And I'm telling you, these little dogs, if you ever put them in the car and take them somewhere, they start secreting that smell because it's their natural instinct to let everybody know they're coming and to mark their territory. And there's nothing that smells worse than that smell. So if you got a little dog and you can't afford to have them washed, whatever you do, get on. I'm not going to show it to y'all because it's pretty nasty. Um, but whatever you can do, get on YouTube and watch a couple of videos on how to do that. Because every time we go on a trip, if we forget to do it, one of them will crawl up on us and get that scent on us, and we cannot probably stand the ride home. Um, so it is a real thing, and it has to be done. Now, these bigger dogs, 
I don't think they have to have theirs emptied. I think it's just the littler dogs, y'all. But it's a real thing. Baby, I'm going to put you in here and get your belly. Ain't she good, y'all? But she's used to a bath. She's been having baths since she was born, since I got her regularly. She's not good for getting in the cow pasture, though. Well, the horse pasture. Yeah, in Georgia, you can live in the suburb, or whatever you call these, where you live in subdivisions, and still be around the horse pasture. What, baby? I'm just going to have to bleach all of this. Okay, let me tell y'all what we're going to do today. After I get my dog fixed up, I'm going to let y'all watch that later. After she dries, it won't take that long. We got a direct, is it direct TV or? Uh, we got Dish Network coming because we got those new phones. Well, you know, you got a payment on them. We bought one, got one free, but we still got a payment once a month. And Christmas hires in a few months. So what I did, our cable bill is about $127 a month. That's not for internet. I can write that off on business. But our cables, our TV, we can't write that off on business. So what I did is while I was in Verizon, I signed up with the other company. And it's going to be about 80 something dollars a month. It'll save me about 40 bucks a month. And that way it'll pay for one of my telephones. Well, a little bit more than one of my telephones a month. So that way, that'll be good. And no, we're not that tight on our money as far as having to do that. I just thought it would be a smart thing to do. I'm very proud that she did not get in that poop all over her back. Because normally when Marcy gets in stuff and she puts her sin on it, she flips upside down. And you know what I'm talking about. They rubbed their back all over it. And she didn't have a bit of that on her back. It was all on her feet, on her tail, her ears, I guess, because she ate it. I know that's gross. But hopefully she didn't eat enough that she's going to get sick today. So, now my kitchen's a disaster because I had to move everything. Look back there. And I got my back door open. I was afraid that if I didn't open the back door, if the smell was really bad, I'd get to gagging but it really wasn't that bad um so anyway that lemon cut it lemon's wonderful for stuff like that um i was going to show y'all how to put on compression socks the easy way but i'll do that in the middle of the week next week because my feet have been bothering me bad i've actually got my compression socks on and look i've got my compression socks on and i've got my compression socks on and my little ankle support socks on today I'm getting it done though anyway. Even if you're hurting, if you get up and move, it helps. All right, I will see y'all in a few minutes and um, I'll let y'all see me shave this doggy. I love y'all. I'll look at y'all's comments while she's drying. I love y'all so much. Bye.